You're listening to the Carl Parisian Podcast with Nick Stopler. Be sure to make all of your sport and UFC bets at www.mybookie.ag. Use the promo code CARO, that's capital K-A-R-O, and receive an additional 50% off on your first deposit. Make a $50 deposit, and we will give you an extra $25 a bet with. Make a $100 deposit, and we'll upgrade your bet to $150. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. What were you talking about before we even got on? So guess who's coming back? Who? Nick Diaz. Off suspension, looking for a fight right now. Who's it gonna be? Wow. I know a guy who beat Nick Diaz. A lot of guys beat Nick Diaz. You beat Nick Diaz. Yeah, but a lot of guys also beat Nick Diaz. Yeah, but... Wait, Nick, wait, he's coming back after that four year suspension. He actually took the suspension. It's done. He's actually coming back. This is his year, 2018. It's been four Nick Diaz already. Nick's fight. been suspended. Correct. It's been that long for weed. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Which is just ridiculous. I mean, one is I, I I got mad at Nick. Like, come on, Nick, it's the third time. Stop getting. I mean, but it's so stupid, you know. You know, it's, it's not that. I mean. I guess Nick's levels are just tremendously high. They, they think he walks in smoking a blunt. That's Apparently, how high yeah, it he is. had a smoke on his well, he way smoked, too. Well, he smoked when he fought Gomi. His levels were so high, ladies and gentlemen. People were saying that he was high, super high, when he was fighting uh, Gomi. <laughs> I mean, it's a classic Nick Diaz. How do you not love it's, Nick Diaz? The Diaz brother. I like I mean, the Diaz brother. Yeah. Hey, listen, even though I fought Nick, we, that, it was that little Nate situation on the season five. You know, and people always ask me about that, and we'll get into that. It's no problem. I'll, I'll come. I'll we'll set the record straight. But even that, like, I'll see Nick right now. We'll hug and we'll give each other a hug on camera. Oh, you guys are cool. Super cool. Of course, we were. We were you know, it was unfortunate whatever happened. But like, how do you? Know, Armenians love the Diaz bros because they're you know they're they're like real tough kids. Of you course. Know, off the street, no nonsense shit. Fuck this shit. No, I mean, they're they're, they're, they're they handle business. And how do you not like that? Every guy's gonna like that. That's why I like Nick Tedela, I like the Diaz bros, and so does every other Armenian that watches a fight. But when I was fighting Nick, it was like, Caro, Diaz, it was MGM Grand, I'll never forget that. One of my toughest fights, by the way. Because Nick Diaz is Frankenstein. He's Frankenstein. Is it Frankenstein? Somebody, a zombie or something, he just keeps walking. Like, I remember <laughs> hitting him, tap, right here, and I just cut his nose, and he just, He's bleeding, he's just walking like it was just a fly that just landed on his nose. Oh. And he just keeps on coming for it. I'm like, mother, what do you have to do to put They're this guy both, away? Yeah, tough as And man. I would shoot in and pick him up and take him on the ground. But Nick's worst thing, I always thought, if Nick was a little bit stronger, he would have been, I mean, it would have been, I think his natural weight that he is when he fought Anderson Silva. Was he fights 170, I think, right? That's yeah, he what fights he, But I think he walks at 172 or no, close to it, No, no, right? no, Nick Diaz sometimes, dude, yeah. Right now he's probably 200 pounds. You think so? Yeah, bro. He's six. He's six foot, and he Nick gets big. He gets he, he gets heavy. Cause Nate, I've never seen that big. Not Nate. Nate not Nate. Nick Diaz gets but that. But Nick, big. I thought gets was heavy. kind of like a like maybe slightly bigger, but not too much. That's no, the way it looked. Nick anyway. Diaz is bigger, bro. Trust me. I mean, I've I know Nick and Nate and they're bros and stuff. But like I've rolled with Nate. No, bro. Nick is way bigger. He's bigger. I'm sorry. I think Nick is bigger and. I mean, I'm not saying who's better, but I remember for me, Nick is Nick's better. Nick's a better fighter. He's, I mean, he's good. He's, he's bigger. Right. Like I said, not necessarily stronger. I mean, every guy I fought, like when I'm talking about these guys, we're talking about it was, I somehow overpowered them, but still, Nick's one of those guys that has the conditioning. He puts a pace. Oh, yeah. He's not one of these guys that'll explode on you, like a St. Pierre might bah, 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 go in and then come out, or like a Sean Shirk or whatever, you know? He's one of those guys that'll set 60 miles per hour on a Kuzk and just keep coming. You know, just keep coming. He'll take you down. Well, his, or you take him down. He's still working. His with workout regimen is With insane. the same, yeah, he does cross. It's, it's beyond like Yeah, he does it's, triathlons. It's I mean, he does, yeah. I mean, it's, it's amazing, bro. Like that kind of conditioning, how can you mess with that kind of guy? You know, in the cage, you got to put him away and you can't put Nick, Nick Diaz, unless you beat him decisively. Right. And uh, yeah, he's, you know, like, you know, man, I never did all these guys. And there was never a, a fight the UFC gave me that was a gimme. Every guy I fought was on a win streak. Four fight win streak, five fight win streak. Chris Lytle, Matt Serra, Nick, they keep going on and on. All these guys were coming off wins, big wins. 
You know, it was never like, oh, he, he, his, Nick Thompson was supposed to be a gimme. He was on 15 and 0 in that one year. He knocked yeah. that Eddie Alvarez That's and right. right after my fight. Gave him that, that guy of his first loss. That's what they were saying. I don't remember. So it's not, there's no gimmies just because I beat him. Because I don't look like much. That's the funny part about it. But ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't really matter because this is 2018. And this is one year that I, you know, I'm only 35 years old. And, you know, talking about, we talked about St. Pierre and uh, Bisping, the fight. Correct. It's such an amazing fight to bring up. Like St. Pierre's 37. Is he 37? Uh, 36 or 37? No, no, he, he's at least 37. Yeah, because I know he's, uh, he's, he's older than me, that's for sure, and I'm 35. So uh, he's coming back 36, 37 years old, fighting Michael Bisping. The champion at the time. The champion, Michael Bisping, middleweight, and he hasn't fought for four years. Now. Correct, and he's actually being tested now by USADA. Before, I'm not saying anything that he was doing anything before, but before there was no concern yeah. if he was on... Some type so of he comes pharmaceutical in. grade strength. I'm not saying anything, but I'm just saying that there was no concern. We're now not saying is. anything, no comment on any of that stuff. But with that being said, yes, St. Pierre comes in, fights Bisping, and drops him and chokes him, bro. Toys with him. Like it's nothing, the champ. And I'm not taking away anything from Michael Bisping. He's a very hard worker. He's a tough guy. He's got good stamp, amazing stamina. He's that, again, that pace and he's a tough guy and he's a good fighter. Absolutely, but great fighter. I'm sorry, that's, he's a fighter. That's what Michael Bisping is. To put techniques and all this stuff together. Even St. Pierre wasn't even that guy. But St. Pierre had so much more. That's, he was just so much better than an athlete, so much better in grappling, so much better in takedowns. You know, how was, I just never saw that fight. I was like, the only way St. Pierre can get beaten in that fight, if he, if he mentally breaks and, you know, and he can land that punch. Michael Vispin can land that punch. Oh, yeah. Down Rago, knocked him out, you know. Like you said, he's one of those guys you can never underestimate. Michael Vispin is a champ, you know. But right now, he comes back and takes the middleweight title. Did he take the title? He took it. And put it back down? And now he's gone. He's gone. I don't think he's coming back. Dana doesn't think he's coming back either. We think that's it. He came in, he took the title, he got paid. He doesn't have anything else to prove. The best thing is that when St. Pierre fought last time with J Johnny Hendricks, and, and I was in Australia watching that fight live, I'll never forget, people were like, oh, he lost his fight, Johnny Hendricks won. All right, well, the guy comes back four years later, fights the middleweight champion and toys with him, and then submits him. Now what are you going to say? He proved it, you know? Oh, yeah. Listen, I'm not saying no, I fought St. Pierre myself, Josh St. Pierre, you know? Whatever. You went the but distance with... He's actually quarter Armenian, by the way. GSP is? Yeah. It's I didn't know that. Sweet, weird. He told me. I was like, what? And he told me because he's French, Quebec French, you know? Yeah, I just thought it was pure. God, oh, dude, I, you know, I, t I remember, you know, we've, I've gambled. I, he didn't know how to play blackjack one day. And I said, come sit next to him. And I gave him like a stack of uh, red chips just to play blackjack. He lost all of them, but, uh, <laughs> and I was just telling him, that's what you do, George, and he was super cool, and I'll never forget that night, two in the morning, he's knocking on my door. I'm like, what the fuck, who's knocking on my door? I open up at St. Pierre, he brought me Pedialyte, because I needed Pedialyte. I was fighting Nick Thompson, I had lost a lot of water weight, and he actually knew about it. He was cool, super cool, so he, he ended up bringing me Pedialyte two in the morning. Wow. I think he was... He, he, I think he was drinking. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. St. Pierre doesn't walk around 2 a.m. in the morning knocking out fighters' doors that he's fought before and bringing a PDA light. But George, I, I'll never forget that. Yeah, I, don't, I'll, I remember that time, that's for sure. It's one of those things, of course. But he's super cool. George St. Pierre is a super cool guy. I mean, people always ask, is Tio a nice guy or this guy? I'm like, I don't know. They're nice to me. I'm cool with these guys. I don't know how they're going to be with you. It's just like anything like asking, hey, do you know Robert? No, yes. Is he a cool guy? Well, I don't know. He's cool to me. Asking Joe Pesci that. Yes, what was Joe Pesci gonna say? Is Robert? Oh, he's gonna tell you. I don't know. <laughs> you let me think about it for a second. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to Car Prison Podcast. We can talk about anything that you want to talk about, and you want to know, and you just leave your comments and subscribe, and the rest we'll do ourselves. We'll be back in just a little bit. A word from our sponsors. <laughs> 